for Duran. Oh, there it is. It's running. Okay, you answer all the questions now. If you don't answer them right, I'll correct you. Okay. <laughs> so what brings you both here to Iowa City? Well, for the for the game and, and uh, just to see old friends. And so it's uh, it's been good. A little bit chillier than what we're used to in Tucson, what Ronnie is used to in Florida, but. Uh, we, we head back out tomorrow, so, and Ronnie will be in Chicago for a couple of days. Right. Yeah. So How long has it been since you've been here? Uh, well, last year for football. Okay. Yeah. When, when uh, the kicker against Pitt hit the 57-yard field goal. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That was the last time, and, and we had a reunion then, too. All the former players, so it was a lot of fun. Does the arena look pretty much the, the same that, that you remember? Or? <laughs> what, the field house? <laughs> <laughs> we played it like half a season in yeah, this place, yeah, right? Yeah, I remember opening night when it was black tie and all of that. That was, that was impressive. Um, it's unbelievable the facility now, all of the facilities. I saw the, the uh, football um, weight room, I guess it's probably about a block long. So, um, no, things have changed, uh, changed a lot. Uh, but the one thing that hasn't changed is the Iowa people are still really, really nice. And it's funny, I run into some of them at airports and they say, when are you coming back home? <laughs> <laughs> I was here nine years. I've been in Tucson now 30 years. So, uh, but I was a special place. How much did you guys reminisce about the Final Four team, Ronnie too? And how much you guys talked about it? We talked about it a little bit, you know, with some of your teammates. You always talk about it when you run into guys. Um, you know what a special year that was. Um, we went through a lot of adversity that year with a lot of injuries. Coach McAndrews, one of the assistants, was in a plane crash, I think, that year. And all of that um, combined with the injuries we had made it a tough year, but we all pulled together under, you know, Coach Olsen and his staff, and we were able to to get ourselves to, to the Final Four that year. And we would have won it if he had been healthy. <laughs> but we say that. Anyway, so, um, But it, that was a special group. And my, my philosophy in recruiting has always been if you recruit good people, they'll find a way to be successful. If you recruit bad people, they'll find a way to ruin your program. So, uh, And that was always really special. There wasn't anybody here that, that I had on the team through the nine years that, that weren't really nice people. And, uh, and that's, that's what makes coaching enjoyable frankly is the the guys that you work with and they're they're coachable and, and they're gentlemen and, uh, so I look at the nine years in in Iowa City it's really a special special time in my life. What difference do you think it made when you brought Ronnie to Iowa City in terms of Iowa basketball and its future after that? Well he's you know at Arizona we were known as point guard view, uh, but this guy's the best point guard that I ever had the honor to coach, and and, uh, and we've had some great ones at Arizona, too, so, um, and point guards are like quarterbacks in football, you better have a great one if you're going to be successful as a, as a team, and, and uh, Bonnie was, was a great one. What has coach been for you, Ronnie, in your life? You know, when I when I coach was recruiting me and I decided to come here uh, as a 17-year-old kid, uh, I, I knew it would be uh, a good experience, you know, him recruiting me, getting to know him and his staff. Uh, 
he promised me that I'd get a degree, which I did. He promised me that they would make me a better player, which they did. Um, you know, Coach Olson was a role model for me, really. Not, not so much as a coach, but as a, as a man, as a husband, as a father. You see the roles he played, and that kind of rubs off on you. Kind of rubs off on you to, to try to be the best person you could be. So he was a role model for me. A lot of Iowa fans have stepped up to help Kenny Arnold. What does that mean to you guys? It means a great deal uh, because, you know, the guys we play with here at Iowa, all of Kenny's teammates have over the years, uh, you know, including Coach Olsen that has stepped up to help Kenny. Um, I, I was in Chicago last week and had a chance to see Kenny. And he's, he's hanging in there doing, doing as well as possible, I think. Uh, but he really appreciates all the help from, you know, his teammates, from the, you know, the people here in Iowa, the Eastern Iowa community, the athletic department. Everybody's pitched in to help, and he really appreciates that. I'll tell you a couple more. Is it surprising at all that the last time Iowa had been in the Final Four was when you guys were there, as well as the last time they won a, a regular season title? Well, you, you know, players win games, so we, that was a great team that uh, we sent to Indianapolis, and, and uh, the interesting thing is our only championship at Arizona was in Indianapolis, so Indianapolis has been very good to us through the years, but uh, that was a special team. They were, they were very in touch with everybody. Uh, good people played hard, listened, and uh, and once they got on the court, they they were confident that they could that they could win and do the right the right thing. Any uh, Iowa State memories that stand out coming back this game? Um, <laughs> I have to tell. <laughs> Tell the story, probably I shouldn't, but Mark Gannon, uh, you know, his team always came came here for the camps, and Mark came in and he apologized, and he said, you know, Coach, I'd, I'd be at this camp <laughs> at ISU, and then he, he came back after the camp and he said, if you ever want to recruit a player, Send them to Ames, <laughs> and they'll come to Iowa. So, and and I I say that kidding one because Iowa State I think is a, is a really good university, and it's nice to have three great universities. The uh, uh, coach at UNI, coach at Mayville State College, that's where I grew up in Mayville, and uh, Coach Jacobson has done a great job there so I think I think the uh, basketball teams in, in the state of Iowa are in good shape. Ronnie, does the, the 1980 Final Four kind of gnaw at you to this day just the what ifs? So. Not really. You, you don't look at that. Um, you know for me personally it was a little frustrating you know to get hurt that year and and not play you know half my senior year. Uh, the positive uh, aspect of it was, you know, my teammates played without me. Those guys pulled together and when I was able to come back at the end of the year, uh, we kind of picked up where we left off. Uh, you know, I think we won our first 10 games that year uh, and we were playing really, really well. And we just kind of picked up off of that and, you know, way to, to get to the final four that year. Okay. Thank you, guys.